All right, welcome back. We are on our way to try to retrieve some of Willow's lost belongings, or beloved keepsakes, dolls, and rifles, and whatnot. Apparently these NPCs are stuck right on top of a, another set of NPCs, which uh, is pretty fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and give ourselves some uh, healing. little recreational drugs. That should do it. Oh my god, it's, it's Kenny. Apparently we are fighting the kids from South Park. Yeah, we're just going to take everything for now. Let's see what we can do from there.
upgrade. Look a little cooler. Just a little bit. What's up? I'm thrilled to have Myra back, but I'd still like to find Chester. You ungrateful bitch. That's a good idea, but I've been thinking about it, and although this is very embarrassing to admit, I don't think I had Chester with me. I think the guy I was traveling with might have him. He was carrying some of my stuff for me. We parted ways at the Mojave Outpost. He's the big, strong, quiet type. Not much fun, but great for carrying stuff. I didn't oh. get many details out of him, but I think I know where he is. Oh, apparently the ex-boyfriend. I can't swear he has Chester, but he was carrying him at one point. It was a joke, and then I forgot he had him. I just can't remember for sure. Okay. Thank you! I promised I would travel with you if we found beauty. So, should we talk about this? Iron out some details? Uh, sure. Oh, good. Yes. I can't fight with anything other than a gun. I'm lousy at anything else. Okay, I can fight with my fists if I'm cornered. By a rad roach. I'd love to learn more and would be willing to study, but for now I'm pretty useless. I just wanted to be really clear about that. So, don't expect me to fight with anything other than a gun, okay? I won't do it. Not with my skills the way they are now. Okay. Yeah, I read books and magazines about boxing to learn what I can, but they're hard to find. I've only ever found a couple. But, if I can read enough of them, I figure eventually I'll get good enough to be able to use better weapons. It kicks some ass in a fight. Oh, 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 oh. You know what would be even better? If we found someone to train me. Are you any good with your fists? No. Oh. Well, maybe we'll find someone else who can. Well, that's no fun. I can look at them, can't I? Alright, I'm willing to do that. I have something for you. It's a radio. My dad got them for me. One for me and one for whoever I was traveling with. He was worried about me going out on my own and thought this might make me that much safer. They're broken now and can only receive messages, but since you have that computer with you, we'll be able to use them. You'll be able to talk to me because of it. I met someone else with one of those and it worked great. Another ex-boyfriend. I can't think of anything else. Let's go. Willow has given you the silver tongue perk. She's traveled extensively and negotiates her way through life using her native charms and her way with words. While she's your companion, you gain plus one to charisma. It's pretty nice. And apparently, weird noises. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, she likes me, she likes me not. Gilloa would like you. So much that she wants to be your best friend forever. BFF. This point is reached when you've done a few specific tasks for her and have gained 100 points toward making her happy. Talk further to Willow about Chester. Rock and sock Willow, train Willow until she's learned to max out her own arm skills. Retrieve train from Lucius, Veronica, Ranger Andy. If my unarmed skill is above 50, uh, and skill books. Um, alright. Jeez. Hey there. Hi. 
Yes, I do. Thank you. They don't like that. Those are expensive. He wouldn't say much. Mostly, when I asked him something, all he'd say was, Not your business. But I did get a few details out of him. Apparently, he has a brother, or maybe it's a friend who's a ghoul, who came here to join some cult, the Bright Followers, or something, near Novak. Oh. He's going there to find the brother, or a friend, to take him home again, I guess. That was all I could get out of him. He wasn't much of a talker. His name. <laughs> yeah, well, I just call him the big guy. He never told me his name, and all the time we were together. Weird, isn't it? How casual. So, I guess you'll need his description. He's very tall, and he wears a cowboy hat with a feather. Oh, and he's a ghoul. How cosmopolitan. Yeah, star bottle caps. Do you believe in the treasure? I do, and I think it's out there waiting for someone to find it. Woohoo! We are hunting for treasure. Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, into what? Change my clothes? Do you know, I killed the geckos that were used to make my jacket. I think that makes it pretty special. Sure, I don't mind. I hadn't been in the Mojave long. I'd arrived at the Mojave outpost a few days before and had already split up with my last travel companion. I tried to find a new companion but couldn't. So I packed up and headed out. It was very unlucky that I got into trouble. I've been on the road for almost two years now, and that was about as bad as it's ever gotten for me. Although, I did lose my dog, Big George, on the trip. Aww. He was killed by geckos. That was my worst day. Thank you. I miss him a lot. Sure, I don't mind. I learned a lot about trading and bargaining from the caravans and traders that stayed with us while I was growing up. I scavenge things of value as I go, and when I meet someone to trade with, I bargain for the best prices I can get. I do pretty well that way. I've done different things in the past with different companions. With people who like to stay close together, I expect to find less stuff. While I'm with you, I'll keep my eyes on the ground and look for caps, small things we can sell, or cooking ingredients. If I'm lucky, I might find a small special item here or there to add to my collection. Sure. Oh. I'm just looking through the options, I obviously... I'm not a huge fan of doing an entire uh, get to know Willow episode. Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Take a look. Yay, free stuff. Nice. I'm going to keep the rest of it for now. All right, let's go. Yay, more happy noise. So, this dinosaur tells me we're close to Novak. So let's head on over that one.
Might as well do some exploring while we're at it. I really have more important things to do. Sorry. All right, well, get out of the damn way. What do you need? Um, say hi. Later. Wow, seems like a douche. What do you want? What's this? They're tough, disciplined, and well paid. Most mercs would give their firstborn to get on board with that crew. Assuming you survive, 10 to 15 years of steady work can set you up for life. Their leader is the key to the whole thing. I don't know his background, but he's rumored to be tougher than Caesar's legate. He's some kind of legendary killer from the plains. I hear he enslaved an entire town and then burned it to the ground. That seems unpleasant. As much as you see me sitting on my ass in this bar, you should have a clear picture. It's feast or famine, really. I get most of my income from the caravans and merchants, so it can vary with the seasons. Shadow Company snatches up most of the contracts, and we independents are left to pick up the scraps. I did hear a rumor that some new firm might be moving into the Mojave. Martin's Marines was the name. Who knows? It's the beautiful scenery and fine cuisine. Not to mention the handsome men, like Doc Friday, for example. No, I'm looking for work. There are always contracts for caravans between Novak and the 188 trading post, so I'm where I need to be. Wow. Apparently that's a super secret. That's none of your business. Yeah, I guess not. I think it's bad for business. Manpower is an expensive commodity. I hate to see it wasted so much. I just want a clear winner, really. This stalemating and ongoing attrition is destabilizing the entire region to nobody's benefit. Aside from their fanatical misogyny, I kind of respect them. Caesar provides real security in a chaotic, fucked up world. I've accompanied caravans through Legion territory, and I've never felt safer. Sure, I get some dirty looks, but otherwise it was fine. The old highway from Kingman to Flagstaff is the safest stretch of road you can find in this continent. Believe me, I've seen a lot of it. Okay, bye. Bye. Anything about Dent? Seems like a douche. Curious if I'm allowed to shoot him, or if he's important for something else. Hello. It's a lot of books. I am any good. Apparently not. Wow. We will have to come back here another time, because it seems like there's some cool stuff in here. giant, uh, gecko, whatever that is, over there. Can we go see that? I bet you can go inside. Yeah, we can go there. We're right there now. What can I do for you? Uh, you have stuff? Yeah, and I need... I guess 
you know. No. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. So here's the scenic town Novak. This delightful. Oh, I like it here. Giant it reminds me of my family's motel back home. Maybe we could stay in one of the bungalows. Maybe. Well, let's uh, stop it here, and when we come back, we'll explore the town of Novak and try to continue our quest. See you guys in the next one.